Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we are doing a Legend of Zelda tier list and we're going to be doing which game is, the, which game do I think is the best and which game I think is my least favorite. This is all my opinion so like this isn't the definitive tier list but yeah so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with, I'm going to start in order I guess. So we'll start with the first game. Honestly the first game is not that bad. It's pretty good. It's a little uh Hard to go back and play now, so I think we're going to put it in, in C. It's like the average game. Like the dungeons are okay, but they're all kind of samey with just different enemies and stuff. The op open world's really cool. It's fun to explore. But I think I think C is a good spot for it. But I, I've not really played a lot of this game. I've played through it like once, but it, I mean, it's fun, but it's, it's hard to go back to. All right, next up we have... The Legend of Zelda 2 links the Avenger of Link. I've not actually played this game. From what I've seen, it's not the best, but I, I can't I can't say until I've played it myself. So I'm going to put it and did not play. Now, I actually have played most of these. I think there's like one or two, maybe three I haven't played, but I have played most of them. So we, we will be ranking most of them. Uh, next up would be Link to the Past. Where's that at? I actually don't see it on here. Oh, here it is. Now, Link to the Past, this one might be a little different than most people i actually am this game is decent i'm gonna put it in b tier it's fun the dungeons are really cool but some some stuff in that game is just like kind of annoying to go back through like some of the dungeons can be a little uh, annoying to go through and it's just not for me i'm not i'm not as big a fan as, of 2d zelda games i am of 3d zelda games um definitely prefer 3d but this one's still good it's still good the music's good and the world's cool. I just don't... Some of the dungeons aren't my favorite. So I'm going to put it in B tier. Um, next up, we have... Link's Awakening. Now, I would go off the original, but like we got a remake. So that's like the one I'm probably going to go off of. I really like the remake a lot. <laughs> I'm going to put this one in A. I, lo I love the world. It's like, it's like small, but it still feels like there's just so much. And the dungeons are like... I, I prefer the dungeons in this game actually over Link to the Past, surprisingly. So I'm going to put it in A tier. The music's also really good. And I just, I just love the way the remake looks too. Which may not be fair because like the remake just... If it wasn't for the remake, this would probably be like a low B. But the remake just makes this game just like so much better. So I'm going to put it in A tier. Next up we got Ocarina of Time. Which... This game is going in S tier. This is my favorite game of all time. So I'm going to put that in S tier. I love everything about this game dude. The music is so good. The dungeons are so good. Even the water temple. I really like the water temple. It's like actually like not my favorite, but it's one of my favorites in that game. So I'm going to put put that in S tier. I like I just love, like I just love everything about this game. It's so good. Um, next up, we have Majora's Mask, I think. I think Majora's Mask is next. Might have been Oracle Games, but I'm going to do Majora's Mask anyways. Majora's Mask is also S tier. But it's a little lower than Ocarina of Time for me. I think I feel like this game, this Ocarina of Time is like the game that you play for like the main stuff. Majora's Mask is like the side stuff. But I swear, if this game had like this, if, if it was like Ocarina of Time's main story with Majora's Mask side quest, it would be the greatest game of all time. Like these both are like really good, but they're like really good in their own ways. Like this one, like the dungeons, they're kind of like they're lacking. That's the only problem I have with this game. But I, I love the first dungeon. I love Great Bay Temple. I love Snowhead. Stone Tower Temple is okay. It's, it's like probably my least favorite in that game. Which is I know a lot of people like that temple. It's just it's 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 kind of boring for me. <laughs> but but like the side quest in this game though, like everything I love everything about both of these games. Um, so that's why I put them both in S tier. All right, next up I'm gonna do the Oracle games. Now I've played one of these, and the problem is I can't remember which one I played. I thought, I used to think this was kind of like a Pokemon Red and Blue type thing, how they were both like pretty much the same, but apparently there's a lot of differences. And the one I played, I really liked. I think it was Ages. I'm pretty sure it was Ages, because that one has the tree, and I think the other one has something else. But I, I'm going to put it in low B, from what I remember. I think it was Ages. I think Seasons was the one I didn't play, so I'm going to put Seasons down here. But I really like this one. The dungeon's really cool. It's very, very, like, tricky and hard sometimes and it was really it was just fun to get through 
and the music is very memorable in, the, in this game too. Like I think all Zelda games have memorable music. Um, but I'm gonna put this in B tier. Uh, even though I can't really remember if this was the one I played or not, but I think they, I think it was ages. If not, they would be switched. I would also like if I just can't remember which one I played. I remember everything about it. I just can't remember which one I played. Um, next up is what? What is next? Minish Cap? No, Wind Waker. I think. I think Wind Waker's first. Now this one might be another one that's uh, kind of different than most people's. I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna put it above Link to the Past, but still in like a, a B tier if I can put it up. Okay, move that please. <laughs> Wind Waker's really good for like the open world part of it, but I just the dungeons in this game are like my least favorite 3D dungeons, I think, in all of like Zelda probably. I like Great Roost Cavern, I think that's what it's called. Um, and I like Forest Haven, I think that's what it's called. I know they have like different names. The third one, the is it it's something Temple of the Caesars. I can't remember what it's called. I have to go back and play it. I'm, this is so embarrassing. The one where you're in the boat, the first half, that one, I just do not like that dungeon at all. And then the Earth Temple's okay. And the spirit, the Wind Temple are okay. But like, I just don't like having the escort. They're kind of like the Jabu Jabu dungeon, but just worse for me. I'm not a fan of the last two dungeons in this game. And then the Forsaken Fortress. I just don't like the Forsaken Fortress either. But like, other than that, the world itself and like the side quest and just like just exploring the ocean it's so fun dude like that's like my favorite part about that game i just like exploring everything so that's why i put it in b tier i definitely like it a little bit more than length of the past just because the world is so fun to explore it's just the dungeons really lowered it for me um but yeah so b tier is good for that um next up we have minish cap i really like minish cap i really i like it a lot I don't know if I should put it in S tier or if it's a high A. But I think I want to put it in S tier. <laughs> I, I, I mean, this might be nostalgia because I think was this was one of the first ones I played. It was something about this game. Like, I knew nothing about it, but every time I saw it in, like, a GameStop, like, way back, I was like, I have to get this game. It's a Zelda game, but this is, like, the one. So I remember playing I love everything about this game, pretty much. I love the dungeons. I love the world. And I love the little, uh... I can't remember what they're called, the little medallions that you had to match. They're so they're so fun to collect and stuff. And I even like collecting the trophies, even though that side quest could be a pain if you wanted to get all of them. I think they were trophies or like the little stat, uh, figures. Also, the being able to shrink down was so cool. And like seeing the world, like it was like, oh, this it's now everything's super big, even though it was just super small. And we were able to get through here easily. Like that was like the coolest part of this whole game. I don't know. I just really like I really like Minish Cap a lot, and the music in this game. This, the music in this game is actually a little bit different, if I if I'm remembering correctly. It's a little different than most Zelda games. I think some stuff was like remade, but it it, it kind of stood out from all the rest. So I think that's another reason why I like it so much. The the only thing I do dislike about this game is how insanely insanely difficult I remember the final boss being. It has been a while since I played it, so it might not be as hard now. But like you had to go through all these enemies. Well, I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not even gonna spoil it. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna stop there. So uh, S tier for that one for now. I might change it to high A, but we'll see. Um, next up, Twilight Princess. That's also an S tier for me. I really like. I really like Twilight Princess. The dungeons. The, the only thing lacking about this game is the world. And at first, I was like, man, the world. I, it, at first, it wasn't A until I played through it again and I got the 100%. And I, the world felt empty at first, but it's really not as empty as it seems. There is, a, like, quite a bit of stuff to do. But, like, the dungeons in this game are th probably the best in the entire series for me. I love every single dungeon in this game. I love Goron Mines is, like, my favorite dungeon. The Sky Temple is pretty good. Uh, the only dungeon I think is, like, kind of not as good is the, the Temple of Time. I'm not a, not a big fan of that, but it's okay. It's still not bad. Um... But like the, all the Twilight stuff and being able to turn into Wolf Link is so cool. And like, I know the bugs was kind of annoying, but they did fix that in the HD version. I'm going to go, that's, that's another thing. I'm going to go by like their most recent versions with these games. So like Ocarina of Time, well, except Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, because they're essentially the same thing. But like Twilight Princess HD kind of fixed a lot of stuff. Uh, Wind Waker HD also fixed a lot of stuff. But, but yeah, Twilight Princess was so good. And... That's why I put it at S tier. Like, the music in this game is also really good. I love it. It's so, like, this and Ocarina of Time, like, they have the, they're so atmospheric. And that's what I love about both of these games. 
Uh, actually, this one's going to go above Minish Cap, I think. I think I'm going to put it above Minish Cap. Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, so next up we have... What is next? What is next? Uh, I'm going to put these, actually, Four Swords. I've never played the Four Swords games. Those are the other ones I never played. Oh, and Triforce Heroes, but that one, not really a main game anyways. At least I don't think it is. But yeah, I would have I would have loved to play Four Swords. I just never had people to play it with. Um, next, we're going to do Phantom Hourglass. And... <laughs> I'm gonna put this in a high A tier. I really, really, really like Phantom Hourglass. This might be another one with nostalgia, but I, I love this game. Like, I played through this game probably more than any of the other ones. I, and I, I, I think I even went through and played it. Like, I was like ch challenging myself, trying to beat it in like a day, which is really isn't impressive because I feel like speedrunners probably, could probably beat this game in like less than an hour, probably. But something about this game is just so, so cool. I like. It felt so big, but it was so small. The only thing I do dislike about this game would be the Temple of the Ocean King, which you have to come back to so many times. But really, once you like learn the game, it's not that bad. It's just more tedious. But I didn't find it too bad, honestly, myself. So I'm gonna put it in A. The dungeons are also really good in this game. I really like, I like these better than Spirit Tracks, which we'll get to in a second. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put that in A for now. I think that I think A looks good for that for me. Um, Spirit Tracks. It's also A, but maybe lower A, like almost a B. I, I prefer Phantom Hourglass, which I know is like probably an unpopular opinion, but I think Phantom Hourglass is better than Spirit Tracks. I know Spirit Tracks is is still really good though. I like the dungeons in this game. The music, uh, the music actually might be the best in Spirit Tracks. The the train theme, or the, there's one theme I can't think of what it is, but there's like a theme, or like the like the little opening like, before you press start. That theme is so good. Um, I do like that this game that you have Zelda as your escort. And you know what? I'm going to put this above Link's Awakening. Okay, I think that looks good. I just... These two games were like... My childhood, probably. Especially Phantom Hourglass. So that might be... It might be nostalgia as why I like these so much. But I just love... Uh, even the touch controls I never had a problem with. I really like the touch controls. But like the dungeons in both of these games were also really good. Uh, they were a little better in Phantom Hourglass, I thought. I remember the water dungeon and Spirit Tracks was a little frustrating. That was like the only water temple I think I've ever actually had trouble with. And then I can't remember the last one. So the last one's sand and fire. I know it was four. Yeah, it was forest, ice, water, fire, sand. I think that sounds right. It's been so long. I have to go back and play this one again. But I love both of these games so much. I've played this one an insane amount of times. Phantom Hourglass. And Spirit Tracks, not as much. It's it's still really good, though. Okay, next up, A Link Between Worlds. I'm going to put this one... <sighs> Probably a high B. It's like on. It's like a low A, high B. But I think I'm gonna go high B for it. I'm gonna move Wind Waker back. I think I. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna put Wind Waker because I think Wind Waker is still really, really good too. Um, Link's Awakening is pretty much a link to the past, or not Link's Awakening. A link between worlds is pretty much a link to the past. But I think it's a. I personally like like it more. I think it's a better link to the past. The dungeons are a lot more fun to play in this game, and there, there's not as many parts. Like, Link to the Past had so many parts where I'm like, this is just not fun. It's more annoying. And Link to the Link, uh, Link Between Worlds kind of fixed that for me. I like I liked every dungeon in that game. The only thing is, like, I'm just not as big on 2D games. I don't know. Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks are kind of like that. And Minish Cap is just special. I love that game. Um, but yeah, the dungeons were really cool. But other than that, like, it was... It was just good. There's nothing that really stood out in this game for me, but like I do prefer it over over Link to the Past. Next up, Skyward Sword. I think I got these out of order. I think Skyward Sword came before Link to the Past. I think I got a couple of them out of order. Skyward Sword's pretty good. I really liked it the first time I played it. And I liked it even more when the remaster or re-release came out for it. I guess it's a remaster. Um this one's tough. I'm gonna put it in a low A. This is like the same, this is like, this and Wind Waker are like the two in the same for me. Like I like them about Eve even. I think I like Skyward Sword a little more just because the dungeons in this game are super, super fun. Like the Ancient Cistern is amazing. I really like, uh, I don't remember what it's called, the Fire Dungeon. The second dungeon you go to in this game is really cool. I like that one a lot. And the Sand Ship was really good. Yeah, those three were really standout dungeons for me. Uh, I also just like the world in this game. I like how it's like, it's not open world. See, my, me, myself, I prefer more linear games sometimes. And this one kind of felt more linear, but it had like open sections, which I, I kind of prefer over like 
open world game. So I think that's why it's a little bit higher than Wind Waker for me. But I'm going to put that in a low A tier. Uh, I think that's good for it. All right, next up we have Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild is... It's going to go in... Ah, this one's tough. Because I don't... So as you've probably noticed, I play these... Like, the, my favorite part about all these games is the dungeons and, like, stuff. And this game didn't really have dungeons. This game was all about the open world. And I will admit, the open world in this game was probably the best open world in many open world games that I've ever played. But I don't... I'm not a fan of open worlds as much. I think I'm going to put it... Would I rather play A Link Between Worlds or Breath of the Wild? Probably A Link Between Worlds. But this will change in a second when we get to Tears of the Kingdom. So I think this had some really good, like, stuff. Just the exploration in this game was really fun. But, like, I kind of, I don't know. I just, I'm just i not a fan of open world games. I kind of got bored with it really fast. Which is where Tears of the Kingdom comes in. Tears of the Kingdom... It's not the same as Breath of the Wild, but they're very similar. And I feel like if I played Tears of the Kingdom first, I would have liked it way more. So I do think Tears of the Kingdom is better than Breath of the Wild. But it's still... It's it's still not one of my favorites. So I think... But I think I'm going to put this one in... I'll put this one above... Above Link Between Worlds. I think I would rather play Tears of the Kingdom. But yeah, I think that's... I think that's good. I do like that they tried to bring back dungeons, even though they didn't really... They felt like they just put them there just because people wanted dungeons back. They didn't really feel too fun. They kind of just felt like rushed in almost. I do. I will say though, one thing about this game I do love, the build up to the dungeons. The build up to the first dungeon, the snow one, like getting up to it was probably my favorite part in this entire game. That, that was so fun and so cool. But I feel like that was the only dungeon that kind of did that. That I can remember. I believe so. But yeah, I think that's I think that's good. Now looking back on it, I feel bad for the first Zelda game. But it is C tier. I think that's good. I think this is good. I hope I made sense. So I tend to ramble. But I think this looks good. Yeah, Ocarina of Time is number one, Majora's Mask number two, Twilight Princess is number three. And like so these except Ocarina, these these kind of fluctuate for me. And even these two, I really like these two. You know what? Hold on. I think I'm going to put Skyward Sword above Link's Awakening. I think this is good. Actually, no, you know what? No, I'm going to put Skyward Sword right here. Wait, no, 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 no. No, it's right here. It's not, it's not. Yeah, okay. This is good. This is good. I think this is perfect. So I think that'll, that'll do it for my Ocarina of Time tier. Or not Ocarina of Time. I said that because it's my favorite game. I think that'll do it for the Zelda tier list. Um... Let me know down in the comments what your all's tier list is. I'm, I'm very interested to see and like how much different they are from mine. Because mine is probably... This might be the weirdest tier list anybody's ever seen. I don't really see many people putting the DS games up there. And Minish Cap is like not ever S tier either, I don't think. Yeah, I think that's it. If you have enjoyed, feel free to subscribe to keep up. And drop a like. And we'll be doing tier list every Tuesday, I think. That's what I'm going to try to do. Uh, but yeah. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next Tuesday when we do another tier list, or if you want to check out some other videos, I'll also do that as well. So, thanks for watching.